Now, how many of you also recognize it takes more work when you're actively listening? Yeah, it takes a lot more work. This is easy. This is, you're distracted, you're playing with the iPhone, you're doing something else, you're daydreaming. This, you're, you're paying attention, you are listening, you're asking questions, you're saying, hmm, yeah, I understand. You're making eye contact, yes? So let me give you some tips. Let me give you what? Some tips. Five ways to improve your listening skills. Five ways to improve your listening skills. And they're very, very simple. I always like simple techniques and tools because when it's complex, you don't use them. Complex, complex, complex is the enemy of execution. So I like to keep things very simple. First, you want to maintain eye contact. You want to maintain eye contact. It shows others that you're paying attention. Now, however, people ask me all the time, what is a good amount of eye contact, right? Th does that mean like, hey, Stephen? Hey, man, how are you doing? Like, you know, yeah, this is awesome. What's, no, 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 that, that's not what I'm talking about. You know, that's like, what, what is going on, right? So, so what, what is a good amount of eye contact? Who can tell me? What is a good amount of eye contact? Hmm? 30 seconds? Yes, it's no set rule, okay? Depends on the other party. Some people, they're very comfortable with eye contacts. When you look at them, they're looking at you, right? They're connecting, that's nice. But some people, they look at them a little bit, they kind of go away. Yeah, then don't, don't just like keep, <laughs> hey man, yeah, and you don't even blink. Like what is going on, right? So whatever the other party, some people, they love eye contact. They just connect, hey man, I'm connecting with you. What is going on? How's it? This, this is good, right? Some people, they're like, okay, they kind of look away and they kind of come back and look away. Whatever they do, you mirror. What's the word? Mirror. Do the same thing. Do the same thing, okay? Sometimes, you'll notice with myself, when I'm listening, I'm actually kind of just listening like that. Because I'm looking on the ground and I'm thinking at the same time. When someone asks me advice, it's not that I don't make eye contact, I just, I need to think like this, and they, but I'm listening. And they can see that I'm leaning forward. Okay, the body language, I'm like, hmm. And you know I'm listening as well, I'm like, hmm, nodding my head, okay. And then after he's finished, I'll look at him, oh, and maybe I ask him more questions. You know, get some more answers. And then I'll keep talking, and then I'll keep it. Does that make sense? So eye contact. Can I ask you a question? Yes. So some people have challenges with connecting with you. So mm. sometimes when you engage them more, yes. they do they back up. You. No, they do engage okay. you, right? Because they're not comfortable or they're not sure or they're unsure of yes. how to engage. So yes. if you truly want to connect, what's, what's your suggestion? Like yeah, if you truly want to connect, sometimes maybe he's not so comfortable, but because you have so much certainty mm -hmm. to connect, sometimes you can influence the other person. Right. So it depends on how certain you are, yes? Mm -hmm. So if you're so much certain, you know, I want to connect with you. I want to connect with you. And they will sense it. Yeah. So it goes back to your certainty. If you feel like, you know what, I have so much certainty, I could, do, I could influence you to connect with me. Even though sometimes you meet someone that, that the initial impression or the initial conversation is not going so well, but you know what, I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna connect, I'm gonna work on it. And then sometimes you can turn it around, yeah? So again, it depends on the other party. Depends on the other party. So first is maintain eye contact. Eye contact. Second, make notes. Make notes, this is huge. A number of years ago, I asked a very successful local entrepreneur, his name is Basil Peters, who, is, who wrote a book called Early Exit. And he's a merger and acquisition advisor and he helps companies exit. That's what he does. So exit the company, sell the companies. And very successful guy. And I asked him out to dinner for dinner. And I'll never forget that when he showed up, and I remember we, it was a, like a seafood kind of a place, nice restaurant, I showed up, he showed up, and I was gonna pick his brain. I want to know how you do what you do, what's your secret to success, how did you get into it, I want to know everything that he does. And he showed up with a notebook. He's the more successful one. He showed up with a notebook. And he, when, when the dinner, before the dinner started, he was asking me questions. He was taking notes. He was, at, at the end, maybe only, only maybe 80% of stuff, 80% of the time he's asking me stuff. And 20% of the time I'm asking him stuff. And after that dinner, I thought to myself, wow, no wonder he's successful. No wonder he is successful. Because imagine when someone is having a meeting with you and you pull a notebook. They pull, actually, they pull out a notebook. 
And as you're talking and they say, do you mind if I take notes? You, what, were you gonna, what are you going to say? <laughs> sure. How does, seriously, how does that make you feel? You feel important. Okay, you, 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 you'll be pouring and hard and share all kinds of, you know, things with them. Just, can I take notes? It, it, it shows respect. It shows, hey, you know, I value what you're saying. You know, Benson does that t on me quite often. <laughs> yeah, this Benson, yes, this Benson, that Benson. My mentee, sometimes we're having dinner, and he would always say, would be saying something. He would pull out his notebook, and then he would turn on the iPhone recorder, and he was just like, yeah. Now, I know he's, he wants to learn, but psychologically, I can see this kid is fucking smart. Because that makes me feel special. So then I share even more. Like, okay, now it's like recording. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, it was going to be good. Man, I'm going to share something with you I've never heard of before. Because I feel special. I feel valid. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so it's a very, very, whenever I meet someone more successful, I bring my notebook. I open up, hey, sir, do you mind if I take notes? They'll be like, oh, no problem. It's okay. When was the last time someone was taking notes when they are speaking? Their kids don't even take fucking notes. They just don't. It's a very simple, just notebook, you know? And I'm talking, not your iPhone, by the way. Because when you pull your iPhone, they don't know if you're playing with your phone or you're actually taking notes. I'm like, I'm talking good old notebook, pen, go, right? And then you're asking questions. If you meet someone more successful, you do that. This works. I used it, it works, and it works on me, it works on everybody. It works on everybody. So take notes. So what is it? Take notes. Number three, allow people to finish their own sentences. Okay, no matter how enthusiastically you want to jump into the conversation. Now some of you are making this mistake. Okay? Doing so will indicate respect for what the person is saying. Let them finish their sentences. Don't jump into it. I know you can't wait to contribute. You can't wait to help. Let them finish. Let them finish. And sometimes you can even ask them, hey, you know what? Like, don't ask them, like, are you finished? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, but you can ask them a question. Oh, okay, where, where do you go from here? Okay, well, tell me more of that story. And if they, when they stop, like you keep probing and they stop, then you can jump in. Would you, would, you, would you like my two cents? Would you like my feedback? Ask permission. Would you like me to share what I think? They would say, sure, and then you, you go. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah, so ask for permission. Ask for what? Permission. permission. So allow them to finish their sen sentences. Yes? Yeah, so that's also part of why you want to take notes. Because sometimes the conversation, something they might say, oh yeah, I know somebody, I uh, have a contact, I have something of an idea of a website, and afterwards you forget about it. How many of you had that experience? Yeah, but if you're taking notes, okay, what was the website you're talking about? How, how, spell that for me, www.com. Is, is this right? Okay, perfect. Yeah, the contact you were talking about, John Smith, John Smith, is, is this right? Okay, it's Facebook, da -da. get everything. Then you won't miss a thing, right? It's so simple. Simple habit, very simple habit. Uh, respond so the other person knows you're listening, so you can use things like, yeah, I see. Everybody say, I say, I see. see. Ever say, I understand. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. hmm. I see where you're coming from. Simple things like that. Yes. Yeah, so see, it's all, see, the technique is the same. Uh-huh, uh-huh, <laughs> like, mm-hmm, hmm. Uh, here's a good one, hmm, try that. That means the person's like, oh, I just, I just said something profound. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, hmm. Sometimes I like to do that, huh. It's like, wow, yeah, look at how smart I am. Let, let me keep talking, right? It's, it's very subtle, right? Very subtle. I like to do that. It's like, hmm, like chin. Try that, actually. Put on chin. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's it? They're like, wow, this guy's listening. Yeah. Very subtle. Very subtle. So, and your response may be yes, and do that con continuously so they know. You, you want to give them, it's like, a, it's like a ping pong. 
back and forth, back and forth. They serve, you, say, you hit it back, yes, mm, you understand. Tell me more about that, yes, interesting. Well, how did you get into that? Wow, that's profound. Tell them, that's profound. That's profound. Is it that profound? <laughs> My kids don't say what I say profound. <laughs> that's profound, man. Whew. Here's a good one. I wish I could do what you do. I wish I, I, I wish I could do what you do. Oh, you could. Let me show you all my strategies and secrets, man. Twelve step. Here you go. We want to be recognized. We want to be what? Yes, just it's very simple. Just being sincere and pay attention and ask questions. Is this simple or what? Well, this is simple stuff. This is common sense. Number five, ask core questions. What kind of questions? <coughs> core questions. Not how's your day. Okay, usually core questions, typically it's a series of why. Sometimes it could be how. Questions that go deeper into a particular subject to gain the greatest understanding of situation. So you're saying, hmm, ha, I see, I understand, I see where you're coming from. Tell me, how did, okay, so how did you get into that? You know, you know why do you do that? Huh, why is that important for you? Hmm. What are your goals and dreams? What's stopping you? What's, stop, what's preventing you from getting what you want? How could I help? How could I serve? Who do I know that could help you? It just, it just, flow, it just flows. You don't need a script. Do you need a script for this? No. If you're using a script, something is wrong because then you're not paying attention. If you're actually paying attention, undivided attention, and you're listening, and you ask cool questions. Why, let me ask you a question. Why is it important to ask a cool question? You are the answer. Why is it important? Hmm? Keep, them engaged. Keep them engaged, yes. You don't get a yes or no answer. Yes, you don't want to get a yes or no answer. Open-ended. Open -ended. You want them to tell you more. So one question should lead to another X amount of minutes in conversation. You ask another question, you ask another question. It's very, very simple. Because the, I can tell you in, the, in your life, think about in your life, who you meet, how many people actually do all these five things well? Just think who you meet in your life. How many of them are good listeners like that? They're paying attention, they're making eye contacts, they're taking notes, they're asking cold questions. Just ask yourself, people you encounter day to day, how many of them do this? Very well. Yeah. Very few. They're, so guess what, when you do it, what do you do? Oh, you stand out big time. They remember you. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.